Well, an unprecedented court finding in Alabama this week is fueling fears about the future of in vitro fertilization treatments. Yeah, Alabama's Supreme Court has ruled that frozen embryos are children and would be protected under the state's wrongful death of a minor act, overruling a lower court's decision. Laura Aguirre has more as infertility experts and doctors are weighing in. We simply don't know who has the rights here. The controversial ruling by Alabama's Supreme Court could potentially block access to in vitro fertilization treatments for many across the state. And we are concerned if the physicians, the health care providers will be able to continue their care. People should be concerned about their future ability to get IVF treatment. The decision comes after three couples sued a medical provider when their embryos were accidentally destroyed and overrules a lower court that said the embryos were not children. Now frozen embryos are entitled to the same legal protections as a child under Alabama law. The CEO and president of Resolve, a national infertility association, says that designation has widespread ramifications. Now the court is saying that that's a person. Can we freeze embryos? I don't know. Can you freeze a person? What will happen uh, to all of those embryos? After the 8-1 to one vote, the lone dissenting associate justice said the decision almost certainly ends the creation of frozen embryos through in vitro fertilization in Alabama. We might see this spread into other states as well. In defending the ruling, another associate justice said the people of Alabama require the court to treat every human being in accordance with the fear of a holy God. Caught in between are the IVF patients. Those embryos are the rights of the people who created them. They may decide to donate them to someone else. They may decide to donate them to medical science. They may keep them frozen, but they are their choice to do. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting.